Welcome to another Electronics and More video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at another free energy device. This is one of the devices shown on YouTube. Supposedly how this works. If you make a coil out of the wire going into the power strip and then you plug it into the first spot over here like so. Then using a piezoelectric igniter like you see here. This one is from a barbecue grill. It works the exact same way as the one shown in the other video that was removed from a lighter. Once that piezo igniter is positioned over the hot part of the receptacle, which is the smaller blade, and then I click it a few times, what should happen according to the other videos shown on YouTube is that a circulation should start of current causing the light to come on, indicating power is available, and then you're going to have all this free energy to be used from the remaining receptacles. You could take a night light, plug it in, and that will come on. You could take a power drill, like you see here, plug that in as well. I can also plug in an orbital buffer, and the list goes on and on. Then you'll be able to have this totally free, constant source of power. So to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this make a nice neat loop out of the wire just as shown in the other video position it on the floor here this carpet and then we're going to try the whole thing to see if it actually works okay the loop has been made as you can see here turn it like that I made two turns and you could also see over there when I use the piezo ignition inside the receptacle that red LED inside the switch should come on. So let's put it this way, give you a better view. Like that, all right? You can be looking right in there. And I'm going to take the piezo ignition source, which is going to be the barbecue grill starter. Place it into the socket on the hot side, which is the smaller side. I'm going to continue to click it. And take notice if this neon lamp inside the switch comes on. If it does, that would indicate 120 volts is now being supplied to all the receptacles. Let's give it a try. Whoop, let's try that one. Oh, and there we go. You can see we now have a light illuminating right there. You can see it, all right? Let's go over there. Let's try and see if we could light up a night light, just like in the other video. Let me turn that back the way it was. Wow, look at that. Is that impressive? Um, let me try the drill in here too and see how that goes. Put the drill right here. See if we could power up the drill as well. Let's plug that in the back. Yeah, let's keep that over there. Yeah, let's see. So that's working pretty damn good. I have to say that the person that put this video up, they knew what they were talking about. This actually works. People, give me a break, people. This does not work. And just like all the other ones on YouTube that you're going to see with this power strip, all right, just like this, it is an absolute scam. I know you don't like to hear it. You like to see that these things work. But the fact of the matter is you're not going to get electricity from absolutely nothing. If you notice in the other video, the person does not move this at all. All right, I move it around like this, all right? The other person does not move the power strip. The other person also plugs in a strip of lights into the receptacle and the wire goes out of the field of view in the camera and then it loops back way around and it comes in from over here. And what that person was doing they're actually taking the wire that plugs in right here. When it goes off the field of view of the camera, they're splicing into that wire to supply 120 volts to the entire strip. The other way this is done is using very thin wires, enamel wires, and the ones I use for this video is 20 gauge. Now, here you can see the light is on, all right? And I'm moving this all around like this. But what I don't show you is, let's look a little closer. Look what you have underneath. Right over there you have your 20 gauge enamel wires. That's supplying 120 volts 
to the power strip and you would never even know it because the other person never lifts up the power strip. In one video, this device is shown positioned over a wood floor and you could easily hide those very thin wires in the spaces of the wood floor and in another video it's positioned on a tile floor and you'll notice the tile floor it's right near a grout line so it's very easy to dig out the grout line lay the wires inside for the purpose of your video grout over the wires and now you have this thing just sitting on the floor and it looks like that it powers up when you use the piezo ignition source to supposedly create that loop of energy which starts the circulation going to supply 120 or in his case 220 volts to all the receptacles. If you enjoyed this video please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.